everyone! Welcome to today's video where we are unboxing a huge haul of toddler and baby Montessori items. And I'm not even sure if I can call my three-year-old a toddler anymore. Like, she is a full-blown kid now. For those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Kara Connolly. Here on this channel we talk about all things parenthood, budgeting, finance, productivity, things that just make family stronger, make individuals stronger. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you around in future videos. And for those of you who have been around, welcome back. So as I mentioned, we have a huge haul here. I'm so thrilled. I have been wanting to just rethink, restructure our toy system. So I'm going to back up a little bit. We didn't have hardly any toys. We had like three or four toys for our first baby Evangelina until her first birthday. Her first birthday came, we had a big party and boom, tons of toys. <laughs> we never really set up a play area. We, we don't have a good setup for that. So we just had a basket like this and would just put the toys in the basket. Well, what do you know? We had another kid. <laughs> Um, they're 19 months apart, so when Ava was 19 months, we had another baby. And then Ava's second birthday rolled around. We got more toys. I mean, we just, and of course, we bought some toys along the way. So all of a sudden, instead of one basket, we have two baskets. And <laughs> it's for the girls to find anything. They have to dig through. They have to kind of look. It's It becomes a mess. It's no structure. And, you know, it's nice because I can take one basket and put it away and then pull out the other one so that we're kind of refreshing and not always having everything out. But... I've been really wanting to do a more Montessori approach to our toy situation and just parenting in general. And I'm not going to go too much into what Montessori is in this video, but I'm, let me know in the comments if you want me to, and I'd be happy to do a video more on that topic. But just a little overview, Montessori research shows one of the ways that supports children's learning the best. It's child-led, and it is something where the toys the space, the setup, the environment is clean, it's organized. You want to have your different, you know, baskets full of full of one activity or one toy, you know, something where the kids can see, okay, there's structure. If I want this, I'm going to play, take this out. And the other thing they say about Montessori is only have out what you're willing to put away. So if the kids take all the toys out, oh, and you have to put every single one away, like don't have tons of toys out. So that's kind of cool. And again, you can do the same strategy where you have additional toys, but you just, you know, cycle them through. They're not always out all the time. They're somewhere hidden away in the basement or something. So I'm going to build the space in our living room and maybe I'll do a video on this too and I actually do it. But we have this landing where the stairs come down, but then there's like eight or nine feet of extra room. That's just kind of awkward because the people who built the house were going to put a chimney in and then I think they like ran out of money. So they never did and we've never put one in either. I think it's like $70,000 to do, so it just hasn't been a priority. <laughs> oh, living in Minnesota, I wish we had one, but anyway, that would be a perfect space for a kid's area, a little Montessori. You know, I would love to have a little kid's chair, kid's table situation where we can have the crafts, we can have some of the monster toys. We already have a beautiful shelf from Mixed Childhood that we can put down there. So that's what I'm planning on doing. But first things first is unboxing all this amazing Montessori things. And I was so stoked because both Love Every and Project Montessori reached out to me in the same week to do a collaboration. So I was like, it's a sign, it's time, and it's the perfect collaboration because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into unboxing. And I don't know if there's a way I can like show you all this boxes here, but let me just try. Okay, you ready? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how that transition went, but we drive. But you can see it's like tons of stuff. So I'm pretty stoked. And why don't we start with the Love Every Pieces. They have a really cool program. So I will start talking about it while I unbox. How Love Every works is you can do play kits. So you can sign up for a year subscription and get these play kits that are perfectly scientifically researched, scientifically backed to actually be the perfect setup, the perfect amount of support for your baby. Sarah is 15 months and here you can see I got the babbler and you can see it says what months 
it is most age appropriate for. So I was able to hand pick these ones and I picked this one because I thought Azura would love it the most. It's kind of at the right stage for her and I felt like it could grow with her too and would complement some items we already have. But you can either cherry pick them and buy them all a cart separate or you can do this it's every three months program for a year or however many years you want to. I think it's up to five or six years. I should double check that though. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I have links. Click on my link if you're interested in anything so that they know I sent you. And then for Project Monster, I have a link with a discount discount code. So check that out. But anyway, this clay kit is the babbler. And I have a cousin who bought the Love Every play kit. They signed up for it and they loved it. They had a baby and they it really grew with them so I wish I would have found out about them sooner but um I'm doing it now and here we go oh I just opened it I'm open it's just like this that literally looks like the size of my baby this really cute kit oh and it shows everything that is inside and just to show you what it has I'll kind of hold it up oh the first item I'm like really want to open is this and it's on the top here Circles of Friends puzzle. So I take this off. By the way, tomorrow, like how serendipitous is all of this timing of these two companies reaching out to me in the same week. And also Evangelina, my three-year-old, just turned three this week. So we're having a little celebration this weekend so she can open some of these and be all excited. So I will do a video of her opening these too so you can kind of get a feel of her, how excited she is for it. But okay, I First of all, love these colors. These are not colors that are like too bright and like stimulating and stressful. Like I would definitely love having these in our space. Oh, and they have faces. See, this is another thing about Montessori is kids love faces and it's really good for their development. Oh, cute to have these. So to look at faces, to recognize faces, to see. This is so exciting. Azura is gonna be obsessed with this. Azura is my 15 month old. Okay, what is next? Bunnies in felt burrow. Okay, this is so cute. These little bunnies have their little burrow. Really adorable. And I love that they're felt. For those who aren't super familiar with Montessori, it's often about what you can find in nature. So, felt, cloth, things like that, wood. You don't see as much plastic, although I am not the kind of person who's going a thousand percent into Montessori. We already have so many toys and Barbies and plastic and light up, but like it gets to be so stressful to me, which is why I'm trying to move more in the Montessori direction. So I'm not saying I'm not doing any plastic ever. I'm just saying Montessori is more of the natural types of materials it tends to be so that you can go outside and see some of the same materials outside. Okay, this is really cute. Like a little, and oh my gosh, Azura loves purses and things like hold on to and walk around and carry. She's gonna be obsessed with this. I'm so excited. Next in the box, I should say, is this slide and seek ball run. Ooh, actually this, okay, cool. It comes with a little, booklet on kind of the same big card that I was just holding goes through and talks about toddler time is slow time our children need time is okay so for those of you who are like me and are just getting started in the Montessori world of parenting it gives a little bit of tips and insight on how to do some of these things and what to do a parent to parent to re reminder your child's development path is unique with so much emphasis on milestones it can be hard to not compare your child with others many of the capabilities listed in these cards will happen at the end of the age range or even in the months following where appropriate. Okay, well that's so cool, so good to know. Like I'm, art, I feel like they're taking care of me as a parent and the child and my children, so I'm already in love with Love Every. Okay. How cool is this? Oh wait, I'm gonna back it up so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so Montessori also has different philosophies and one is that you want to share and like display cause and effect. So like if you put a ball through here, every time it's gonna fall down and go to the bottom versus like toys that light up or you hit a button and it makes a noise. It's like the child hits the button one time and then like something happens and they listen and they just kind of sit there and are entertained. Whereas this, it's like they have to actually put the ball in and then they can see the ball going down and the effect of that. So it comes with at least two balls, I'm seeing. Oh, 
out and the ball makes a little rattle and then you can open this door and there's a little chamber or stick your hand in, get it out this way. Ava's three years old. I felt like this was a good age appropriate toy for her too. So that was in the back of my mind when I was picking which kids to get as well. They're gonna have so much fun. I'm already loving these. And do you love the wood? I think it's more aesthetically pleasing than so many other kinds of toys where it's just like colors everywhere all the time. And it's like, ah, what happened to my beautiful aesthetically pleasing space? It's long gone after you have kids. But maybe it doesn't have to be. Here we go with a carrot lid and chamber. Here's a box. The bottom comes out. I suppose you just put the bottom. Oh, it's kind of magnetic. That's cool. Five carrots. And they're kind of this silicone type of material. Oopsie daisies. And you put them in, see again, cause and effect. It's like if you put the carrot in, it will fall through. <laughs> Love it. And then you just take this out to see the bottom. If we take this lid off and dump out the carrots, there is another lid we can put in here. This one is called the posting lid and you can like put anything in here, just kind of like challenge your kid or toddler to put whatever they want here. So like cotton swab, you know, like the Q-tip kind of a things or maybe crayons or something that might fit in it, you know, kind of let them be creative. So I love that they have the opportunity to be creative. There is another lid here. So we just change out the lids. They have five wooden coins and it's like a little piggy thing. <gasps> Cute. Do like a thumbnail? Second to last item is this flexible wooden stacker. Oh, here are the rings. So you can stack all the rings here and you can also place them in their special homes. Again, I love these colors. I just like these ones. Take these out, you can stack it, unstack it. This is kind of a wibbly wobbly kind of a thing. I love it. I love it. I think my girls are gonna freak out. When here's a book, bedtime for Zoe. So the thing about Montessori is they try to do things realistic. So they use realistic pictures instead of cartoons more often in books and imagery. And that's why you saw the faces in this toy it was more of the real faces and not necessarily a cartoon face. Little hint on Montessori stuff. Okay, so that is just the first box. Oh my gosh. There's so many more exciting boxes to get through. So we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit and then keep things moving here. By the way, each one of these kits, if you buy them individually, it's 120 bucks. So, but to get your kids set up in the Montessori kind of life, I feel like this is a tremendous value. Like all of these things and they know what this age group is really working with and what they're looking forward to and what the brain development side of things is needed most at this age. So I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I'm excited. Next box I got, I'm going to cover up my address and stuff if I can, is the helper. So this one you can see there are ages 25, 26, and 27. And I saw that when I was ordering and I still think my three-year-old is gonna be thrilled with these items. So I still wanted to go for them. Yeah, that's what's so great about these is I feel like a lot of ages can work with the same toys that they're sending. So that's fantastic. They can grow with your kid. They're not gonna get sick of them. And multiple age ranges can use them if you have multiple kids. Yeah, and I just pulled out the big cute sheet of everything that's in here. So we're gonna take a look, but just right off the bat, here is a sneak peek. One thing I was most excited about when I saw these were these felt flowers. So again, the colors are fabulous, fantastic. It comes apart and then they become individual flowers. You can set them up here on this wooden block in a row. So it's called the felt flowers in a row. And I just felt like this would be something really cute, really nice that wouldn't be stressful to me to see sitting out, you know? So here you go. Charity loves flowers. Anytime Mick buys me a bouquet of flowers, she goes, that's mommy's flower. That's Ava's flower. That's as early. She likes to pick out flowers for herself and me. And so it's really cute. The next item on the list is a making muffins book. Oh, and this one is a lift the flat book. I don't want to show too much because you know, you're not supposed to show the inside of books but I'll just do one because I don't want to ruin the fun. Surprise. Again, really realistic. Ava's at the perfect age to be baking and cooking and wants to always be eating cupcakes too. So 
this is gonna be a really good book for us <laughs> for her by the way they have another booklet that i'm gonna go through later in more detail about the ways to play expert tips development info and at home activities you can do with your brand new love every toys we have this booklet it's called let's map it out routine cards okay okay it's a little box with these cards and on one side it's a cute printer pattern you can kind of see them here I love it and then on the other side it is things that you might do throughout the day so like washing your hands singing a song maybe before bedtime being dressed eating a snack brushing your teeth cuddle time packing a bag okay I love these so much having fun comb your hair clean up going potty like really good actionable items I'm obsessed Obsessed, obsessed already with this box. This is such a good one. And again, this is the helper box. Next we have, okay. Now this is really cool. This is how it looks close up. It's called drop and match dot catchers. It has the little dots in it. You can see inside all the pretty colors. I think you could play connect four. You could just drop the colors in and try to match the colors. Or just drop the colors in and not match the colors. That seems like it would be fun too. So I'm seriously so excited. Maybe I can teach Ava Connect 4. Like that's what I'm saying. These are going to grow with my kids so much. And the fact that they're Montessori and nice colors. I can see them sitting out. Like it's not going to bother. I'm not trying to be repetitive. But I mean it. Like I'm so excited about it. Okay, now what is this? I thought it was a book. But it has a zipper. This must be the Anywhere Art Kit. Ta-da! Comes with paper and a paint stick. Okay, yeah, you can see it's an actual clay crayon almost, and then really came off there when I used it. Fabulous, I think they're gonna really enjoy this. Okay, next we have a sunny-sided, a double-sided sunny day puzzle, rather. Here's one side with the blocks, and then if I flip it over, it has another option to use those same blocks on the other side. Here, you can see it here, all made up with that side. This is a really good skill. Ava's just getting into these puzzles that are wooden and like this, and we have a few, but none with these good colors. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop bringing it up. But seriously, colors make a difference. Oh boy, and the last item might be the one I'm most excited about. It is a super sustainable sink. Ava is getting to the age where she really likes to help, be involved. And so this seemed like a really cool little sink we could put together for her that she can play with. It's cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, there's like a battery. What does the battery do, I wonder? Okay, well, I can't find out right now because I need a screwdriver to open it, but, but yeah, it looks like you, and then pop that in place. Looks like you could actually use real water in here. Cute! Oh my gosh! So that's it for the Love Every Play Kits, but they also have additional items that you can buy all the carts. So they also sent me the blocks that I alluded to earlier. So I don't know how many ways, but it's a lot. It's heavy. Here we go, people. Oh my goodness. Fence is killing me, but I need my box cutters one more time. Okay. Hold it open on top. There's this bag. I think you could maybe store some or maybe all of the blocks in here. So many different ways to use them. I will say I'm a little intimidated because they come all nicely like organized. I don't know if I'm ever going to get them this organized ever again. <laughs> They're perfectly aligned in there. Oh, I just set them down for a second because they got heavy. But look, this. I can't even get it all on camera. It's so big. This is everything that it comes with. The other side, it shows a bunch of ways for kids to play with to kind of generate some ideas, some inspo. I'm going to keep this out with the toys in case they want some inspiration for playing. Okay, this is cool that it comes in this box because they can store it in here and then I can store it and like leave it out. And this is like a nice looking box. I don't have to get a basket to put it in or anything. So I also love that. There are little people type of blocks, a few of those. I love that they are including multiple skin tones. That's really important to me. So yay, go love every. Also have these sticks that you can like make into car axles. Here is like a wheel you could put on one side. Oh, and it's magnetic. Here, there are a bunch of blocks like this 
maybe this is to like do this or what what were they showing yeah tying the blocks through here holding the dominoes you can roll these wheels down this is like too exciting i'm so glad that it's ava's birthday because i couldn't just give her all this stuff just for fun like that's setting expectations way too high like i'm definitely giving this to her as a birthday gift so that all of these are just the first level there's another level under this box <laughs> see how that's in there I don't like have a great way to hold this up and show you that I'm doing that, but here we go. Okay, see what I mean about intimidated about getting these back in here? Like, it's so beautifully organized, all perfect. It's toys. It's fine. It will be better than what it is now. <laughs> Tell you that much. And I'm obsessed with these colors, and especially anything STEM related that has girl colors. Like, why are they always boy colors? Happy girl colors. I love it so much. Hi, girls. I, I fought against it. I didn't encourage it. It was just like, Ava's favorite color is pink. There's nothing I can do about it. It just is. Like, that's how she's hardwired. So I appreciate the pinks, the purples, the pretty red. Oh, sweet. Okay, and then on top of it is this item so that you can put some of the blocks through it as another toy. I think you can turn the whole box into a car. I mean, there's endless opportunities for these blocks. Okay, that is it for love every. We're gonna move on to Project Montessori. These items I'm really stoked about too. Oh my gosh, I be Ava and Azura's birthday this weekend because this is way too exciting. First thing I have is this kitchen set. This is gonna go perfectly with the sink from Love Every. So we're just building out our own little kitchen, one item at a time. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so this is the kitchen play set. Happy cooking. I like that it comes in a container so I can just keep it all in here. Realistic pots and strainers and things. I'm like pretty much obsessed. This even sounds pretty. It's so cute for cooking. Looks so accurate. Wooden spoon for cooking. Cooking utensils. Adorable. Here's where the plastic comes in. I've been really interested in felt food, but I wanted to wait until we got next to a play kitchen to incorporate more felt into our play stuff. Since this all came in one kit, I was just excited. Get my hands on any kind of play food. So this is corn. Oh, a pumpkin. And it comes apart and it has seeds on the inside and then some like Velcro. Put it back together. Perfect. An eggplant. Okay, here's a cutting board and a little safe knife that no one could get hurt on. Onion, broccoli. Here are all the foods I want my kids eating too. Mushroom situation going on. And a tomato. And on top of all of that, we have the cooking gear. A chef hat. Hot holder. Hold the hot pan so they don't get burned. Apron. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so that was the Project Montessori kitchen play set here. Oh my gosh, if you could see this room right now. Next item I got, so this is something I got Ava at school. Whenever I bring her, there's one of a similar item like this where it's an activity cube. She always wants to play with it when we go in and go out. So I thought this would be perfect at home. She's three, but and she still wants to play with it. So I know Azura's gonna grow and, you know, like it and use it so for years to come. So even though it seems kind of young, maybe, I don't think it is. Not for my Ava, anyway. Motor and senses is what it's called. Oh, sweet. So that's easy enough. Comes in two parts and then, voila, this side of it. You can put the blocks in here and then take them out on top. Comes with the three blocks that I just put in there. Okay, so here we have a clock. Oh, good for time management, but also just moving the little arrows. Here we have gears. This is something that right now Azura is obsessed with. We go to this one play place and they have these and she likes to move them around. Block side. Ooh, this is a fine motor skill. Going up and down. And then, on top, I don't even know what these are called, but I remember loving these at a kid, as a kid and they're in my doctor's office and I always looked forward to playing with them. This is the part that Ava likes to play with. That is really exciting. It's gonna be her best for ever. I think those are all of my monitor items. I'm gonna show you the damage that's done here in just a second, but let me know where you are in your Montessori process. If you are just interested in learning more or if you are a full-blown Montessori person, let me know what you like the most. Let me know what you already use 
foods that you're obsessed with. Let me know what you think I should look into next. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. So thank you to those of you who do. Love you all so much. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah. Azura. <laughs> Oh, you're playing with your kitchen stuff? Clean up time. Mwah.